children, close your eyes and listen, for I will tell you the most wonderful story of the very first Christmas, the beautiful, peaceful night when Jesus was born. It all began long, long ago in a faraway land called Nazareth. There lived a woman named Mary. One day, Mary sat sewing in a courtyard. It was cool and restful there after the strong, hot sun of day. Suddenly, there was a great flash of light. angel appeared before Mary. At first, Mary was frightened, but the angel told her, Don't be afraid, for I have come to bring you very joyful news. God has chosen you to be the mother of his son. You are going to have a baby, and you will name him Jesus. As quickly as he had come, the angel left her. In the same town, there lived a carpenter named Joseph, who loved Mary very much. He too had seen the angel, and knew that Mary was going to have a baby. Both of them were very happy, and began to prepare for the birth of God's son. One day, as Joseph was busy working with his tools, a message came that the Romans were counting all the people of the land. So Joseph had to return to the place of his birth so he too could be counted. This meant that Mary and Joseph had to travel to a faraway place called Bethlehem, the city of David. It was to be a long and tiring journey, and Mary was soon to have her baby. But early the next morning, they set off toward Bethlehem. Joseph led the way, and Mary rode on a little gray donkey. The trip was very long, and the road very rough. By the time they reached Bethlehem, it was nearly dark. And there were many, many people in the town, all waiting to be counted. Mary and Joseph, and even the little gray donkey, were very tired. So Joseph set out to find them a room for the night. to find a place to stay, but all the rooms were taken. Please, sir, go away, the inn is full. Finally, a kind innkeeper said, There's no room here at the inn, but you could stay at my stable. There it is, warm and dry. They thanked the innkeeper, and Mary and Joseph and the little donkey went inside the stable. It was warm, and it smelled sweetly of fresh mown hay. Inside the stable, there were cows, donkeys, sheep, and chickens. They were all settling down on the soft 
pay for the night. Mary and Joseph lay down to rest. Very late that night, Mary gave birth to a little baby boy, just as the angel had said. The animals in the stable were awakened by a very faint, soft cry. As they opened their eyes, they saw a beautiful little baby, and they heard the soft voice of the woman Mary say, He shall be called Jesus. Joseph turned to Mary and said, This little child, Jesus, though he is so small, gives us a great gift, the gift of love. And then he took the baby very gently and held him as Mary wrapped him in a warm blanket and laid him in a manger. Shown 
above the small stable in Bethlehem was a very special star indeed. For it grew brighter and brighter. It became so bright that it could be seen all over the world. away, far in the east, lived three good and wise kings. They too saw this bright and shining star. The first king looked up into the sky and said, Look in the sky, a great and beautiful star. Such brightness I have never seen. And the second king answered him, It's a sign, a sign that a new and great king has been born. We must leave at once. We shall follow the star, and it will lead us to the new king, decided the third king. The kings set off to follow the star that would lead them to Bethlehem. They wore their finest robes of silk and golden crowns sparkling with jewels. They brought with them precious gifts to present to Jesus. The trip was long, and the three kings traveled for many hours on their camels. They too arrived in Bethlehem, and found Jesus, Mary, and Joseph in the stable. Great wise men, come and see the Christ child. The shepherds were there. Come in, humble shepherds. The youngest shepherd had found a gift for Jesus. I will play my flute for the baby. Its sweet sound filled the air with music. Mary thanked the shepherd boy for his kind gift. What a beautiful tune. Thank you, shepherd boy. The three kings presented baby Jesus with the fine gifts they had brought from the east. I have brought pure shining gold. I present the fragrant incense of frankincense. My gift is the rare perfume. The greatest gift of all is the gift of love. 